Nelson. Flush down the lane. And they'll have it in the end zone before he crosses Johnson's out of bounds. Now that definitely, that definitely hurts, hurts because the mindset, because the mindset is, getting is getting a three and out, three there, and out there, there, and they don't get they it don't done. Get it they done. give up the scramble and a pick up for a first down. First down. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And on the last goal, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means the field position matches the Jets as well. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency.
come into the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down, a must on this drive as they start out here. And look at this. They get the turnovers they needed. It's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. And the return will be stopped at the 34 yard line. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, we were a question of play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First and 10. So after the so INT, it's Rodgers. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And the Seahawks might throw the football here at their own 35-yard line. All right, Brandon. Normally when you hear about guys making two interceptions in the game, you're thinking it must be a free safety, maybe a corner. Two picks out of one of your linebackers. linebackers. Again, he's just Again, in the right place on the right side. side. That's another That's great play to come away with the football. Coming to the line here to begin the next drive. The Seahawks offense. Another important fourth quarter series going up. And at last, INT helping to maintain their slow advantage. He's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, quick outs things that they consider, they consider safe. safe. They'll run the penny here out of the shotgun. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal, so they didn't get a stop get a there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you can start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you what point you think now is the go time. I think now is the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a special spot. From the 24, Wilson. Wilson. And a dangerous, a dangerous throw there throw that's knocked down and incomplete. A good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the ball because there's so much trash around here. And the ball has to get to him to get to the receivers. And on that play, it was bad. Running back. Running back. But in 
this case, that's not his role. No, not ultimately, because he didn't do what he didn't secure the football. And if he had done that, that play would have been spectacular. Instead, he turns it over. A big play for Don. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. And he's not able to get away. Six, second and 22. After the sack on a second and 12. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one score game. So it's Seahawks football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. On second and 12, Wilson. This is Cook. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Wilson connects with Tyler Lockett. And the Seahawks capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead now up to 14. Touchdown, here's Myers to put it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here on this one. Oh, wow. Because you're exactly right about it. The clock came low. They struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that what are you symptomatic of? Your analysis symptomatic of the success of this one. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. Side of the swing pass. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. They'll contain him to just just a second down. A short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. And he just falls short down at the line. Chance to finish now on first and goal. Now they'll toss to Jones right left. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame working has turned into results. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. The quick slant clock. clock. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some boxing, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defense so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary 